Let's push it to nine, ten. Yeah, definitely guys, you can see uh, this will easily fill a medium size or even large room. If you're looking for a budget friendly projector, then step away from this video. This video is definitely not for you. However, if you are looking for a 4K Ultra HD short throw projector with some astonishing features, including 3000 peak lumens, HDR10, HDR10+, Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, super high contrast ratio, then the AWOL LTV 3000 Pro may just be the projector for you. Now, as I mentioned before, this is a triple laser projector. And with laser projectors, you get those really vibrant colors, very high contrast, and those very sharp pictures. And this is another ultra short throw projector, and I have covered a few of those on my channel. So even if you don't necessarily have a large cinema room or media room, you can still get great picture sizes by using a UST projector. Let's open that up. In fact, so very impressive guys, they do actually bundle in the Fire Stick 4K Max. So this is the first generation one, but this will be more than adequate to handle all of your streaming needs. Now I can see lots of other projector companies now going for a similar option where instead of bundling in Android TV OS into the projector, which would then require you to do your own updates and do your own management, they just either bundle something like this or they leave it up to you to plug in your own favorite streaming device. So your Fire Stick, your Roku or your Apple TV, plug that in and you can manage all of your streaming content like that. But it's a nice feature that this is actually bundled in directly with the AWOL LTV 3000 Pro. So you get one of those, you get the manual, you get some batteries. Here's the remote control. Let me take that out. Okay, you get this very nice, very smart looking remote control. You've got your standard D-pad here. You've got dedicated buttons to manage the input source. You've got sound file settings. You've got volume up and down, brightness home back. Very nice. It'll be interesting to see if this is actually backlit or not. You get two pairs of these 3D glasses where I guess you can experience 3D and enjoy life. And this is the projector guys. I will leave the measurements on the screen, but I can tell you this weighs around about 9.5 kg. So definitely not a light or portable projector, but at the same time you can see it does have really good premium build quality. So here we can see a trichroma laser. It is a triple laser projector. You have the AWOL Vision logo here. And here we can see 4K HDR, Dolby Atmos, supports DTS, Dolby Audio, all of the standards there. Here you've got the uh, power button, but I believe all of the connectivity is at the back. Starting with optical out, we have a micro USB service port, we have USB in, we have Ethernet, we have AV in, and here we have two HDMI ports, which are labeled HDMI 2, which supports the EARC. HDMI 3, and this is the cool trick up the sleeve, guys. So where do you think we're going to plug in the Fire Stick? Here? Here? No, we actually have a dedicated slot. Press that, and that then reveals this hidden slot where they've already got a dedicated uh, micro USB cable. So we can plug this directly into the Fire Stick and power it. So a really nice, clean way to plug in your Fire Stick so it doesn't get in the way, and you can nicely tuck it out the way with this door. So. This is what I'll be plugging in my 4K Fire Stick mags. We have some ventilation here on the front. Now the projector does have 36 watt speakers, which are both on the front left and right. So I'll be doing some sound tests on this and seeing what kind of quality we can get. Okay, so I was able to connect to my five gigahertz Wi-Fi, and I'm now taken to this custom Android TV home screen, which I believe is running Android 9. The first thing I can confirm is, unfortunately this remote control is not backlit. Okay, let's go over to the settings. Let's click on that. Here we can do the standard adjustments for the projector. You can change the image type. You can see the zoom settings, 3D settings. Here we can customize the brightness settings. So this is on bright. This is standard. This is soft. And that's custom. Let's leave it at bright. And it is a very, very bright picture. You can customize the keystone correction, the focus. All of that is available here. And then you have your other basic settings here. And I think in about, we can see, yeah, this is running Android version nine, which has 128 gigs of storage. If you want to copy anything to the local drive to play. Now we can see here at the top, it has actually detected my NAS, which is this Andromeda here. This means I can now access the media on this. 
I look at all of my streaming content. I can now, for example, look at all of these different uh, 4K demos. Uh, let's just try this random one here. And that really is a, is a crisp picture. So if you want to, if you have your media stored on a NAS or on a network share, you can actually access all of that directly with the AWOL LTV 3000 Pro projector. We can see at the bottom here, we've got access to the three HDMI ports. One of them, which I believe is HDMI 1, does have my Fi stick in there. This is composite. If I go to all apps, you can see there's just these basic applications here. Okay, let's now jump over to my Fi stick. So let me click on HDMI 1. And we can see on the top right, it has detected that this is pumping out Dolby Vision, which is supported on the 4K Fi stick Max. Now I can now access all of my favorite streaming content, all of my favorite streaming applications. All of that is accessible here. Okay, so that really is a, a glorious picture. You really can see the finer details. I mean, the colors are just mega vivid, but you do have those options to adjust that if you want to slightly change the tone. I mean, my camera's not gonna do this justice, guys, but I mean, looking directly at that screen, which is an ALR screen from VividStorm, which does help with the ambient lighting, that really is a fantastic picture. So as I mentioned before, the projector has many adjustments. So anytime I can press settings on the remote control, I can then navigate to image. And for example, here we can see the image mode is standard. I can change that to vivid or sport or game. And we can see some of the adjustments there. So you can really fine tune and get this picture looking just as you like it. Let's leave it as standard for now. So lots of different customizations. Here you can change the color temperature. So this is standard. This is a bit cool. That's warm. And here you can do the user defined. I think actually the user defined looks most um, natural here compared to, yeah, I think let's leave that as user defined. Let's go back. You can see that the AOL projector has done an excellent job getting the most out of the black details. Yeah, I mean, if you want to see deep blacks you can see they've done a fantastic job here it's worth mentioning that the reason why the picture is just so sharp and so clear is due to the f 2.0 aperture lens developed by rico now this is an all glass lens and it's one of the largest lenses i've ever seen on a laser projector measuring at 3.5 inches so this does come with 35 watt speakers so let's just turn the volume up a bit Okay, so this is volume two. Okay, so this is volume six. And the audio is still very clear, very crisp. Let's push it to nine, 10. Yeah, definitely guys, you can see uh, this will easily fill a medium size or even large room. You have that crisp audio, punchy bass, but without any distortion. Yeah, I think you really will appreciate that audio, especially when you start pumping Dolby Atmos through this. Okay, let's go back. Now the LTV 3000 does have a preset game mode. And when you combine this with the HDMI 2.1 inputs, it really does provide an optimized gameplay experience. A will state that you'll be able to game with an input latency of 15 milliseconds if you game at 4K, and this can be further reduced to 8 milliseconds if you game at 1080p. But definitely for your racing games or your FPS games, it really was a fantastic gaming experience playing on this projector. Okay, so wrapping this up, what are my closing thoughts on the AWOL LTV 3000 Pro projector? I mean, I'll say overall, guys, it is a very impressive projector and you pumping any kind of content through this, through your Fire Stick or other streaming applications, you'll be very, very impressed with the picture. I mean, out of the box, without me doing any kind of tuning or any kind of adjustments, the picture was just phenomenal. But at the same time, if you are somebody that likes tuning, likes getting that finer detail, you can make all of those adjustments, all of those options are available. Game mode was also very impressive. You do get that 15 milliseconds latency at 4K 60 Hertz, and that drops down to eight milliseconds if you're willing to game at 1080p, where you can then enjoy 120 Hertz playback. The speaker test was very impressive. As you saw with the Star Wars demo, 
you can easily fill a medium or large size room with the built-in speakers. Connectivity wise was also good where we have those three dedicated HDMI ports and I like the fact that the one for your streaming stick is tucked away behind that hidden panel so very impressive features. The HDR content was really impressive as we saw with some of those demos just really vibrant colors, deep blacks, really sharp picture and as I mentioned before whatever content you pump through this you definitely will be happy with that picture. There's also the nice touch they've included that 4K Fire Stick Max. So really with that, you can access all of your streaming applications. You can access Netflix in 4K. All of those limitations that you may find on another projector, which has Android TV built in. All of them are negated by plugging in the supplied 4K Fire Stick Max. I'd say on the negatives, obviously you saw that the remote control was not backlit, which I do think it's such a basic, simple feature. So I'm surprised that a projector at this price point, they missed out something as simple as that. And of course, secondly, the price, this is not a cheap projector. So for many people, this may be a little bit too expensive, but I would say to that, if you're somebody just looking for the best picture, you're looking for the best features, you want that Dolby Vision, you want that Dolby Atmos, with the high quality triple laser projector, you will definitely get your money's worth with this projector. So. That's pretty much it for this video guys. Many thanks for watching. If you are interested in purchasing this, I will leave all of the links in the video description and the pinned comment. Do let me know if there's any other UST projectors I should be checking out and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.